This is a Rainbow Workbook lesson for English First Additional Language, Grade 4, Term 3, Lessons 85, 86, 87, and 88. In this lesson, the topics we will focus on are the story of Shadow Girl to the Rescue and writing a shape poem. Reading time. Hello, children. Let's read a story called Shadow Girl to the Rescue. We will read the story in groups, so follow the words carefully. If you follow carefully, then you will know when it is your turn to read. Let's read the title of the story together. Shadow Girl to the Rescue. Good. Now group one will read the first two paragraphs. Let's begin. The children at Newtown School were glad to see Lindy Mieza at school today. For those of you who don't know her, Lindy looks just like any other 11-year-old schoolgirl in her uniform and pigtails. But when there is a problem, she instantly turns into a shadow with superhuman strength. Today, she became angry when the children told her about the three cell phones that had disappeared from the school. She knew Newtown School was no longer a safe place to be. When Lindy and her friend Wendy went out for their 10 o'clock break, they saw a man sitting in a big bucky just outside the school. They saw him call a small grade one child and heard him offer her a ride and a chocolate. That was lovely reading. Group two will now read up to where the man started to shake. Chocolate my foot, snorted Lindy. In a second she was gone and all that was left was a long dark shadow that stretched right across the street. Shadow Girl was back, and she was going after the man. She immediately saw three cell phones in his car. Ring, ring. What's this? She shouted as she picked up the phones. Look at this name. This belongs to Tabon Lovu. And this name, can you read it, is Wendy Smith. What are you doing with their phones? I needed to make, um, uh, a call, stammered the man. I'm sorry I took the phones. What was going on? Where was this voice coming from? He started to shake. <coughs> Terrific reading. Group 3, let's read the rest of the story. You stole their phones, you crook! And Shadow Girl twirled the man round on her finger. She lifted him above her head and shook him. A necklace fell from his pocket. I know this necklace, shouted Shadow Girl. It belongs to my teacher. Put me down, muttered the man. The only place I will put you, mister, is into the police van. The man looked down and saw a police van stopping behind them. He is all yours, constable, she said. And Shadow Girl disappeared. Her work was done. Lindy stood inside the school grounds with Wendy watching and looking as though nothing unusual had happened. In a split second, she was back at her desk, ready to start writing in her workbook. Now, children, said Mrs. Smith, today, let's talk about what we can do to make our neighborhood safer. The children all turned to Lindy and grinned. I love your reading. Would you like to be friends with Shadow Girl? Very good reading. Remember, everyone can be a hero by doing good deeds in their neighborhood. Well done, boys and girls. Wordplay. Hi. Listen carefully to some words and then make a sentence with them. We will do some examples first. The first two words are Angry and break. Say, angry, break. Good. Now listen to the sentence with those two words. She was angry when no one played with her at break. Say that now, please.
Yes. Here are another two words. Immediately and voice. Say, immediately voice. Okay, now listen to a sentence. They heard the teacher's voice and immediately stopped talking. Say that now. Lovely. Listen to the next three words. Stole, necklace, belongs. Say, stole, necklace, belongs. Great! Can you think of a sentence that uses those three words? Put up your hand and tell your teacher. Lovely sentences! Well done! Sentence play. Let's see if you can help me choose the question when you hear the answers. Listen carefully. If the answer is, Wendy is her best friend, then what could the question be? Let's try it together first. The question could be, Who is her best friend? Repeat that question now, please. Yes, now for another one. If the answer is, they celebrate their birthdays on the same day, then what could the question be? The question could be, what do Wendy and Lindy celebrate on the same day? Repeat that question, please. Super! Can we do another one? If the answer is, the party is going to be at school, then what could the question be? The question could be, where is the party going to be? Repeat that question, please. That is great! If the answer is, they love their teacher because she encourages them, then what could the question be? The question could be, why do they love their teacher? Repeat that question, please. Well done! If the answer is, she was so pleased when she found out that they all did their homework. Then what could the question be? The question could be, how did their teacher feel when she found out they had all done their homework? Repeat that, please. You are all brilliant. Well done. Sound play. Are you ready for a listening game? Sure you are. Listen to these words. Cat. Curtain. Curly. Can you hear the sound at the beginning? Let me say the words again slowly. K. At. K. Curtain. K. Early. What sound do you hear at the beginning? Good! We hear k. That is called the hard c sound. Now listen to these words. Circus. Sense. Circle. Can you hear the sound at the beginning? Let me say the words again slowly. S-circus. S-ence. S-circle. What sound did you hear at the beginning? Good. We hear s. That is called the soft c sound. Can you tell which words have a hard c sound and which words have a soft c sound? 
Listen carefully. The first word is cabbage. Say cabbage. Does cabbage sound like circle that has a soft C sound? Or does cabbage sound like card that has a hard C sound? Say cabbage, circle. Now say cabbage, card. Okay, does the C in cabbage sound like card or circle? It has the same C as card. Wonderful work with the hard and soft C sounds. Playtime. Let's play a game about big and small things that make different sounds. Listen to your teacher and be ready to stretch up high when you hear a sound that is made by something big. Or bend down low for sounds that are made by something small. Remember, sometimes small things can make big sounds and big things can make small sounds. Careful! Don't be tricked. Well done! A car is big. How about this sound? Show me if it is big or small. Right. Drops of rain or water are very small. Listen to this sound. Yes, a mouse is very small. Listen to another sound. Good. A grandfather clock is big, but there are also many small clocks, so everyone is right. Well done, grade fours. I am so pleased. <laughs>